Today we're going to be installing a set of uh, Koala Pieces Trek carbide runners. I like these runners because they're almost like a dually, except they have a full length carbide on one edge and half on the other. You put the halves on the inside and it gives you superior handling. So I'm really excited to try these out on the Renegade 850. Looking forward to it. Really easy to install. You just have to modify your ski with one new drill hole to put this tip in. And uh, let's get right to it. Sled up, weight off the skis. 15 millimeter to remove the bolt. It is off the ski as you can see here. And then we'll just tap this out. Don't tap right on the threads, you'll damage them. That's why I put the nut back on gently. Bolt will pull out. And then this can come back. I'm just gonna set this roller under here just in case, like that. Let's pop the other ski. We're tight spaces right here with the, uh, the other Renegade sitting beside it, but we'll get to it. Next we're going to take a half inch deep socket and we're going to remove the old carbides. This one had the, this is a typical pilot. <clears throat> Ski's not in the greatest shape, but it's not bad. Um, we're, it has the dual runners on it. This one's worn right out. The outer one looks pretty good, but we're going to remove both these on each ski because we only need one, run, one runner with the Koala pieces uh, track and also two I inquired about shimming these and they said absolutely you do not need to shim these so they're designed to work out of the box and then we'll tap these out track of your rubbers don't lose those And you can see these aren't going on the newest of skis, so it's even going to be a good test as, right, as well. But there's no wear right through on those skis. They still seem to have some good, a good foundation. So might get another season out of them. Maybe even two or three now that the tracks are on. But uh, let's open these things up and see what we're dealing with here. Packaging. I'll just put that down there for now. But uh, these are the carbides, and like I was saying, you can see the inside carbide is shorter than the outside carbide here. So I think it'll really help with cornering and, and handling. I think these things are going to handle dynamo. Get a little uh, bag with. Uh, with hardware in it, new nuts, and uh, and that's it that's in the box. The only trick to installation is to drill a hole 10 inches from here to here so that this tip 
we'll set this in like this. And that's the right one because I want this on the outside. If you have a rubber mallet, it helps too. But you can see here that the uh, where the tip is actually going in here. Hopefully you can see that. We want to drill a hole so that this tab can go through. So our hole is probably going to be somewhere in here. You know, so that that'll still grip. Really long tab on this. And I was talking to Kevin from Koala Pieces and he said that the this flat head leading edge of the carbide was something they developed. And you see some other manufacturers copying it, but just know that... Uh, that it was developed by Koala Pieces. They've been around for years. They're just starting to, to really amp up the marketing game. So it, uh, we will be seeing more of Koala Pieces. In th this season we did, definitely did. And uh, we will for sure see more as it rolls out. And you can buy these at your BRP dealers. So you can go into Energy Power Sports. They actually stock both the, the Trek and the Adventure line, depending on how aggressive you ride. And uh, if you go see Dave or, or Brad or anyone, Energy Power Sports, they'll help you out with those. Or your local dealer. But Energy is the best. So I like, like Fast Track. They uh, do a good job of their instruction sheets. I've ripped this one on the way out to the garage. Sorry about that. But uh, you can see here where it's marked. You need to drill a 7 16th inch hole 10 inches from the tip of that ski. And what I want to do is I want to take the drill as I'm drilling, pull it back so that that hole has an angle to it. I measure from the, this part here, around the ski to 10 inches, and then we'll just double check it. And that looks about perfect. It's going to line right up in that hole where I mark the pencil. Because this is gonna slide back a bit as it goes through the holes. But look at the, this is a thing of beauty, really. It really is, so. I propped the tip of the ski up so it, it's not as floppy. Our 7 16 drill bit, and like I said, when we, when we go down in here, I wanna pull it back like that so that it, it actually gives the hole a little bit of an angle and helps that come through. So, you don't do that until you, you break ground really like that make sure you get it in the center there's a line there so you can see this this will actually put through the hole now and then these will pop through those holes there let's grab a mallet and and uh, give it a little bit of persuasion yeah that, that's uh, pretty easy once you've persuaded the uh, the the carbide to come through, we can start the first nut. Love the packaging, like look at all the information and free decknels. You should be able to draw this down. Persuasion. We can uh, start both nuts and draw these up in. You know, I bet Elon Musk felt this way the first time he was ready to launch SpaceX for the first time. Yeah, it's a really, th I, th I think that's a pretty aggressive deep carbide too. I like it. It's really good quality. Like That's not chintzy metal. That's thick steel. I like the gold. It's so pretty. I'm going to give a pet set to my wife for our anniversary. All right, we're back at the front of the Gen 4 XRS. And like I said, we want a shorter carbide on the inside and a longer one on the outside. So if you recall, 
I have the old dual carbide on the inside mounted so that it, it hides those holes. This bowl already has a nice light coating of grease on it, so that's awesome. I'm going to put the uh, ski rubber in. You can see it's marked front. So put that back in the way it come off. I'm going to lift that up into place. Two Uggaduggas. Sure, there's a torque spec for it, but it is what it is. So there they are installed and ready to rock.